The Central Club. Do you need a work uniform? Want to start a clothing brand? Or maybe you have a football kit that needs a logo printed? Well, if I was you, I'd get in touch with the Reinspire Printing Company down Traforest Industrial Estate for the finest printing and embroidery in Wales. I use them for my custom made mankini, but you could use them for t shirts, hats, hoodies, and many, many other things. Have you moved on yet, mate? In the car sense? Replace that old model with a fresh new whip, but now your ex is threatening to scrape your keys through it? Or maybe you just want to protect that new paint job from grime and dirt damage. Well, if I was you, I'd get yourself over to Unit 4 Keypoint, Cardiff, CF24 5HF. Services include paint protection film, ceramic coatings, vehicle wrappings, and car detailing. Customer packages available for track bikes and cars. Now, I don't drive, so I'm certainly going to get my bike done. Tough Films Limited. Get in touch. What's going on, people? Welcome to the Central Club. This episode is brought to you by Reinspire Printing and Tough Films Limited. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment in the comment box, and subscribe to the club. Today, we're doing something a little different. It's actually our first duo interview we've ever done at the Central Club, and probably the only father and son interview we'll ever get to do. The father, Cardiff born, a natural athlete, and a former WBA, WBO world champion nicknamed the Cinderella Man. The son, following his footsteps and being coached by him, has recently just won his first Welsh title and has a bright future in the world of professional boxing. I've planned to get these two on for a while now, but we struck lucky by getting them on at the same time. It's Mr. Steve and Jacob Robinson. Welcome on both. That's good. Uh, yeah, man, it's uh, good good to get on this uh, podcast, man. So Yeah, uh, thank yeah. you for coming down, the both of you. Really appreciate That's it. Okay. And um, first of all, I'd like to say congratulations to you, Jake, for winning your, your fight last man. week. Yeah, Not thanks. bad. 19 months out of the ring to come back and take the title. Yeah, strong. Um, what kind of preparation did you take having to go into a fight after being so long out the ring? Yeah, um, yeah, it was a um, hard uh, two months, uh, two months of training. Um, maybe about yeah, eight, eight, nine weeks of training it was. So um, yeah, so I obviously um, I upped my sparring, so I was up sparring more. So obviously being nineteen months out is um, ring rest. But um, when I got in there, I thought I thought I was going to be ring rusty, but I got my distance straight away, really. Mm. And um, yeah, I felt I felt pretty comfortable, man. And um, but it was uh, it was a lot a lot of uh, hard work uh, put into this uh, training camp. What about you, Steve? Your son's a Welsh champion. Yeah, yeah, very proud. Um, like I said, um, yeah, we pre- prepare for the fight quite well. We um, spar three times a week, and I said you need a lot of sparring. I think you probably done about over hundred rounds of sparring, like you no. Know? So, and this preparation was good. We done sprint work and everything, and yeah, there's um, and strength work, and also we got a strength and conditioning coach as well, like which is um, which helped as well. And uh, yeah, he's and he's right for the fight. He was perfect. He peaked the right time, and then he made the weight easy. And, you know, he was just like the last week, he was like, when you're a few pounds over the weight and then he made the weight, no problem. Yeah. So, mm. I did see an interview where they said that um, you weren't expecting the Welsh title fight sooner than sooner than it came. Yeah. Was you expecting another fight to get in there before that then? or? Yeah, yeah. So, um, to be honest, obviously being 19 months out, I was, I, to be honest, I wanted um, a six rounder really, just to sort of get myself back in. Obviously, a lot of fighters have, um, have, have, have had like um, warm up fights. Like six rounders, even um, being like um, you know title fight, you know title fighters, you know before, so even having that long time out, um, but um, they offered me this fight, and I just thought, why not, you know? But you just have to be uh, put the um, the grafting in the gym, and um, yeah. And how does it feel now, knowing you've got a belt, same as your father's collection, starting mm. to build it up? How does that feel? It uh, feels good, man. It's the the best best feeling in the world, you know, because it's um, it just all makes it worthwhile, really, you know, and. Uh, yeah, just well, looking at it, it just makes me proud, man. And yeah, uh, you know, nah, um, I'm I'm really happy for you, mate. Yeah, and nah, yeah, thanks man. a lot. I wish you all the best man. in the future. Yeah. Um. Obviously, with the interviews, we like to take it back. This is a bit different, like we said. So, yeah. you know, take it take it easy on us. But um, I I, I want to kind of direct it at you, Jake. Yeah. Um, because obviously you're the one who's uh, relevant right now. Your dad's coaching you. Of course. Um. If we could go back to the reason why you started boxing, a bit about your story growing up, and then mm. we'll go later on into uh, a bit about your dad's story. So, what was it like childhood growing up, um, having a father who was world champion? Yeah, so obviously um, it was a bit different. Obviously, a lot of people would say, "Oh, um, oh Steve Robinson's your dad," and uh, and all that. But obviously, I used to just think, "Oh, that's just just my dad, really." But mm. obviously, when uh, obviously being grown up now, 
you obviously uh, know obviously more more obviously of his of his story, you know. And uh, but um, back then, people used to be like, "Oh, Steve Robinson, Steve Robinson, world ex world champion, and all that." But um, but yeah, it was just um, yeah. Was you uh, like disciplined hard as a kid and brought up to be be a boxer? Or? Uh, nah, I was I was naughty, man, really naughty yeah. <laughs> when I was uh, in school and uh, and stuff. So um, he he took me along to the gym maybe when I was about eight or nine, just to calm me down, to be honest. Yeah. And um, but yeah, I was uh, quite a naughty child, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you had a brother who was boxing mm, as well. Course. Was he boxing from a young age? Was he like, did he always want to become a boxer? And yeah. like yourself, who done it for for other reasons? Yeah. Um, so obviously, um, I used to try and like you know copy my brother. So obviously, I used to go, go along to the gym with him, and obviously my dad. And um, yeah, just wanted to be like my older brother, really, to be honest. Mm. And um, I'd say out of the both of us, he's probably the most talented, really, out of the both of us. But it's just obviously the dedication and uh, the the hard work you got to put in, but. Always wanted to be like my older brother and my dad. So, so what was what, what was the t uh, the realization where you realized I could actually take this up full time? Yeah, so um, I'd say from about fourteen, fifteen, really, when I had my first amateur fight by fourteen, because um, I I used to play rugby for uh, for Newport, really. So I really, really? yeah, so uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to be a rugby player, really. I used to play on the wing, so I was small, but I was just quick, quick you know. So um, I'd say about fourteen, fifteen, when I had my first amateur fight, and. Um, when I went from there and won, I just thought, wow, like this is a wicked feeling. Nice. And um, yeah, just ev ever since then, really. Obviously, you were looking up to your brother. He was boxing, your old man as well. Yeah. Who were some of your other boxing influences like um, when you was young? Yeah, obviously, like I liked um, Pinal Whitaker, I used to like. Um, and then that, that Cuban, uh, Rogondo. Yeah. I watched a lot of, um, I used to watch a lot of them. Um, and then, um, who's as well? Um, Obviously, my dad. You can't obviously because <laughs> <laughs> you can't forget yeah, my dad and everything. Um, and then obviously my brother as well. So, uh, course, yeah. but yeah, like yeah, I'd say. What's what's it like like uh, at, when growing up with your old man? Was he mm. was he was you still boxing mad? Have you because I know you're a very, you know, you're very athletic. You're always fitness mad. Have you, are you mm. still into boxing as much as you are back then? No, no, not really. I just um, coach now, so you know, I you know I keep myself fit. I do CrossFit exercises and everything. You know, sometimes I post stuff online. You see what I do and everything. Um, yeah, and no, I don't really punch your bags much. You know, as no. much as I used to. You know, because um, you know I don't see the point really. You know, I just want to do something different, mm. like you know, yeah. different fitness, like you know. When you look at you look at the, you know this day and age, the, the day of social media, you see the likes of Mike Tyson, people like that coming back to fight. Don't it ever give you the itch? No, not really. Um, but I wouldn't mind a one-off fight with um, Nassim Hamid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it'd be a bit of a, you know... It'd be a mismatch, catch not winning. Ca uh, catch weight, uh, weight, you know. Yeah, so yeah of course. Heavy, you'd you'd be giving away flipping <laughs> like three, four stone. Yeah. Well, and the rest as well. Do you ever speak to him? Do you ever speak to him? No, I, I did see him um, a couple of years ago when Luke boxed um, up in London. And um, I seen him and uh, he shook my hand and said, Hi, Steve, how are you? Yeah, fine. And um, he looked quite, quite chubby. Right. And, quite wide and everything and um I could out you fast. <laughs> so what I did, I just showed my six pack and said, look, look at this. And he went, oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he said, you're an athlete. I went, oh thank you. So yeah. yeah, like if you look at some of the photos of, of your old man now, like mm. he, he's in better shape now than probably is, yeah. Yeah. back then. And and you do personal training. I understand yeah. you do personal yeah, yeah, training yeah. as well then. Yeah. Um if have, have you done that since you was young as well or um only like the last two years really. I've only started you now. Obviously just mostly um boxing related, obviously pad work and stuff, you know, my clients and then just like little circuits at the end then. But um only like the last two years really I'd um I've I've um done it. And um, my client base is um, picking up from it. So obviously people, you know, obviously I'm a, I'm a pro boxer. People like to fit, you know, you know, we practice what you preach really in yeah. that sense, you know, and, um, and yeah. Um, you just said about like um, growing up, you, you was getting into trouble. You was quite naughty. Mm. Um, one thing I've always um, stood out about your father's story is how you almost got it. You know, you was going off the road as a younger person, you know, you started saying you were smoking weed and stuff, but it was, you know, you was on the cusp of doing that type of stuff. Sports brought you back in. Obviously he had a different, you know, you could say you, you probably assumed he would have had a better childhood because, you know, mm, yeah, you're out of the, the way of Ely or whatever mm, it is. And mm. what is, you know, what, like what is some of the things that you, did you notice he was getting into trouble at a young age and did you like kind of pull him out of it and say, listen, you boxing's, you know, sports is a good way to get out of trouble or? Yeah, sort of. Um, I know he wasn't um, a good kid in school. Like he was um, into everything. Like, you know, he always used to have <laughs> detention and stay back in school. Like, and I said, boxing can't be done. Like, come on, I'll get in the gym now and do a bit of training. 
carried on, like you know. And, um, and he, you know, obviously joined the gym, and um, yeah, he, he won his first first couple of amateur fights. He won like a novice championship, and I, I seen oh, he got some talent there, mm. like you know. The um, amateur career was was quite short, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So um, obviously, I had my first amateur fight for him because I was so light, I couldn't get um, fights because I was just I was just really light. So mm. I won um, a novice star at like thirty six kilo when I was like fourteen or fifteen, and then um, I won the proper Welsh then at like forty kilo. Mm. That was like. Um, when I was like 15 and then um, yeah I was just so light and then obviously um, I had a little break for a few years from it from boxing and then I went back on it then again then so any reason why you had the break um, I just had a break for a bit to be honest were um, you feeling it or yeah, or? I did, yeah I did go through a stage of that I was about from about 17 to about 19 mm. oh yeah I went through that stage and then and you then, had the urge then to get back. Yeah, I went back on it then and then um, I won a Welsh then and then I got to a, um, a national final of the British then which I thought I won. I was up in up in Kent. I think I thought I got robbed really in that one. Mm. But, um, but yeah, man. And then you made your um, your debut then, yeah. didn't you? When debut. when was that? Twenty uh, twenty seventeen. Uh, yeah, 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 right. The end of twenty seventeen, December. Um, that was in um, Murphy. I had a good um, good uh, stoppage win. Yeah, was, good knockout. Yeah, good knockout. Yeah, uh, so wins um, or whatever. Is, how, yeah, Goodsman, isn't it? Yeah, 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 Goodsman. Yeah, 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 good man, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, 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 man. But um, Murph, where was that? Where was that? That was in Murphy yeah, Leisure Centre. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah. How and, did you um? How did you feel? Knowing you know your debut professional fight, comfortable yeah. knockout. Yeah, um, I was I was out like two and a half years as well for, before that. But I I didn't I didn't fight for about two and a half years. Obviously. It's like your best when you're away from. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, literally, yeah, I just literally. Had eight out yeah, and knocked him I, I know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally. But um, I was I was out for about two and a half years. So um, I boxed in 2015, my last amateur fight in the championships, and then um, I boxed then end of two, uh, 2017. So yeah, it was like yeah. So do you ever get anxious? Do you ever get any like you know before a fight and I? Do you ever feel anxious? Um, yeah, yeah. Ev ev everyone has those butterflies thinking of a, thinking of the fight. You know, you uh, you know that's what you're thinking about is that opponent, opponent. You know. Yeah. And then, um, but um, to be honest, um, I didn't really feel that that nervous for my last fight. It's always yeah. comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Outside of the ring, yeah. the, like in your normal day life, have you ever mm. had any like problems with anxiety or anything um, like that? No. No, but, um, you know, obviously I've, I've always been a pretty laid back yeah. person and, um, and yeah. Yeah, nice. Do you reckon that's because you've always kept yourself busy with sports and things like that? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say so, you know, um, definitely. Mm. Uh, you know, sport does help, you know, and um, whatever you're doing, you know, is in fitness wise, it's just, it gives you that, that natural, that natural buzz. Yeah. You know, so. Mm. Um, when you look at some fighters now, especially who are pretty relevant right now, you've got Chris Eubank, mm. Chris Eubank Jr. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, obviously, um, his father was coaching him for a bit before he went to another trainer and mm. people used to slate him for that and all. I like, oh, you sure, know, yeah. what, what's the dynamics with you two like then? Um, you know, you both live together as well, I, yeah, course, I, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. imagine. Yeah. Um, not imagine, I hear, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, huh. What's that like? Trying to like, you know, balance like coach, father, you know what? Did you get on top, or do you get on? Like, what's what's the situation we're, here? We're like um, we're like brothers, really. To be hmm. honest, he's obviously I know he's my. You dad, look but... like brothers. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. He, he's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me too. But nah, he's like my older older brother, really. Um, yeah, we're, we're both on the same wavelength um, in that sense, and um, yeah, you know, uh, we have little bickers. Everyone's gonna have bickers, you know. Yeah, and, um, of course. I um, think a good thing about being a father and son. Sometimes he got fins on his mind and he's telling me straight. Yeah. And he says, No, Dad, it's not like this. And I said, No, I know. I've been there. I've been mm. a world champion, you know. And, mm, you know, yeah. and sometimes we have a little bigger. And I, and I do my, I'm very old school and I'm a bit of new school as well. Like, but then he's saying, Oh, you shouldn't do that. Or oh, look at the old the old school training. They train different now, this day and age. But then, you know, and then we work things out and then, you know, actually balances out quite well. Get the best of both yeah. worlds. Yeah, I that's can it. That's bit it. of old that's school, it. bit of new school. Yeah. So yeah, you know. Uh, as soon as he says, oh, "I've I've been it, I've done it," you know, I've been a world champion. It's just, it's just shut Game down. Over. That's, that's like, it. Oh, that's his yeah. get out of jail. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, you can't, yeah. you can. Uh, well, that's you can't it. Argue with that. Do you yeah. ever feel like your dad's tough to live up to? Um, no, that's a, that's a good question. You know, um, but um. It's uh yeah you know it's uh, it's you know it's a you know it's a good one you know obviously big boots to fill, yeah huh? yeah it's, it's it's big boots to fill but like I said um, I used to feel pressure before when 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 fighting in the amateurs and that but um, now I just go out there and just do my own thing I know I got a totally different style to my dad he was like obviously more hands up 
you know, old school. Yeah, old <laughs> school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just, I to be honest, I just feel like more comfortable with my hands down. Mm. I know it's not a good idea. I know. But... Do you know what I seen the one? <laughs> I think it was the Draconi one, and it was just yeah. bam, bam. Mm. bam, bam. I just, I, I just feel. I just, your arms are down. Yeah, and I know. On the yeah. ropes at one time, I'm just <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah. this guy's comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I just, that's that's how I just feel really. And um, to be honest, when I'm sparring to when I'm fighting, I took I fight totally different. And how'd you take to that with his, with his arms down? Yeah, I'm. You know, I, I know he got quick um, reflexes, which I, I I knew he could get away with. But and obviously, I know when he goes up a level, you have to like keep his hands a little bit higher. Mm. But still, you know, you, know, you got great fighters like Nassim Hamid, his hands down. No. But yeah, he get caught, but he get back up. And, you yeah, know, yeah. He, he had <laughs> good power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he had good punching power. But Jake got good punching power, and um, Jake could box anyway. He could box his hands up, hands down, whatever, and. Um, Nice. He got great um, reflexes, like you know, like I said, he could get away with it. Yeah, you know? obviously you're his father. Like you're obviously gonna back him to the rafters anyway. But uh, if you could answer this on an honest, you know, from an honest perspective, do you think your uh, your, your boy Jake could go all the way? Yeah, I believe that. But I, I'm not a type of person. The mouth obviously he's gonna be world champion. He's gonna be yeah, world yeah, champion. yeah. But, I um, can yeah, see that. You got the talent to go all the way, definitely. Yeah. You know, I said that. You're much fitter than your father was, isn't you? Mm. And you was fit, like, <laughs> no, you was fit, like, but it yeah. just seems like you're very fit and sharp as well. Or, yeah. or do you disagree in there? I don't know. Well, I, I was known as a super fit person. Yeah, yeah, I'd, 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 say, I'd say he's fitter, but it's, it's a, I'd say I was a bit more athletic than him. <laughs> that's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a difference. Like it's like uh, it's like a it's like a marathon runner. He's f he's f he's uh, fit over the uh, distance, but then you got yeah. like a sprinter, mm -hmm. which is more athletic, mm -hmm. more explosive. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got the fast twitch fibers. So um, I met like, that. I know that he was that yeah. bit more explosive. I'd say he's a better runner than me. Like, yeah. But, um, well, I, I I put it down to he's probably more skillful. You're probably more yeah. fitter. Yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. And you, yeah. you can always everything you've got. You obviously pass down to him yeah, anyway. Yeah, so if it. anything, he's yeah. going to be the better version. Mm, and it's definitely. Right. Yeah. And you know. Hopefully, hopefully Same with my oldest son, Luke. He was very skillful as yeah. well. Like, you know, was he? I compared him for on, on a pad really because I found Jacob a little bit more looser, but Luke had good timing, good combinations, and with Jacob, you know, good hand speed and a little bit more punching power than uh, my older boy, Luke. Mm. Is he Jacob got more punching power. Yeah, much power. more punching power. Because yeah. when you look at it, like I have never seen him in person, but Luke seems like a much bigger guy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He, was, he fought at um, like Welter, so um, a 10 stone. So obviously he'd, um, he's, a, he's a bigger, bigger, bigger than me. Yeah. So, so he's up, so is he up the ring now? Is he? Uh... Um, he, we spar in Ash though. Yeah. He helps me out with the training. He's a he's a good trainer, my brother. He's okay. a really good trainer. Yeah. And, um, you know, we got good ideas and everything. And um, he still spars. He's like he's he's good for the first round or two, and then after that, then he's, he just blows <laughs> up. Then that's it. Yeah. So Man, he, you wouldn't think you're like a flat family. Yeah, he's yeah. just you ain't you ain't got it. So how yeah, many are there of you, you then? Um, with the with the brothers, how many? I, I got a, um, just... a younger sister. Okay. As well, yeah. yeah she's uh, she lives up in London. She's um, doing uh, performing arts up there in uni. So, uh, but she she could have been a good boxer. My sister, really. I think yeah. out of all of us, she could have been the best. Wow. Honestly, yeah. Very quick picking pins up like yeah. yeah. She, yeah, she's just day and age it's massive isn't it female yeah, boxing yeah, no? yeah. yeah. She, she's lethal my sister trust me like she's like you know got hands like younger yeah, yeah a bit younger yeah, yeah she's 21 my sister yeah he did yeah. say younger sister Luke yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah nah she got hands she, she's uh, she's yeah, she uh, real she would have been good yeah what a, it, it sounds like you just wanted all your kids to be boxers. Yeah. <laughs> just like it, it, it doesn't seem like 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 you know you got you as a boxer. Then mm. oh my daughter would have been a good yeah, boxer. Yeah. Was you always a boxer? Because like obviously with your story um, that everyone always talks about, you know the Cinderella story, and you was working in Debenhams. Did you always want to be a boxer, or was this just a thing you you done on the side? I always wanted to be a boxer. Yeah. When I started boxing, I was nine. You know, eight going on and nine. Yeah. So I started boxing quite young. Mm. And I went to a local gym up by me and um, I joined the gym and my old trainer Ronnie Rush trained me as an amateur and plus as a pro as well so yeah Ronnie's the winner um, who, who was there at the championship fighting at the end at the interview yeah, yeah. when yeah, you because um, yeah. you say about someone who had HIV I'm yeah, donating this fighter yeah. thing yeah, yeah. did you see the report he went off that swiftly didn't he yeah, you know, he, was, yeah, he was yeah, like oh yeah that. anyway yeah, yeah, just, I, I noticed that as well yeah. it's, weird, it's, a weird, it? it's a weird one yeah. really maybe they just uh, it's one of them ones yeah oh Mm. Going back to you, Jake. Obviously, um, you, you're with MTK. MTK, yeah. Um, you know, you've got your you've got your own branding and stuff, and yeah, it yeah, looks like you're good. in a good place. You're being looked after at the moment. Yeah. How are MTK in your eyes? Yeah, I'd, I'd say they're um, probably the best uh, management team out there now. Obviously, you know they uh, they work with every uh, promotion um, promotion company. You know they work with Matchroom, they work with uh, Frank Warren, they work with everyone. And um, obviously, I haven't got no promoter. Obviously, at the moment, no uh, promotion deals at the moment. But obviously, um, they saw all my fights. 
mm. and um, they put on their own shows, you know, as well. So um, and they and they uh, you know they sort the fighters out with the with, uh, with with wages too, you know, so with purses, you know, so nice. Yeah. When yeah. did the when did MTK come in? Was it at the beginning of the professional career or like um, Billy uh, on my third pro fight? So um, my dad was managing me for my first two uh, fights. Obviously, got me on the two uh, Sanaga uh, shows. So knockout and fight as well, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was um, it was the first MTK show in Wales, and obviously I had uh, knockout of the year, the Welsh knockout of the year. That, yeah, that nice. for that fight. That was your second knockout. Is that the one on yeah, your Instagram? Yeah, yeah. Is that the one on your yeah, Instagram? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, nice yeah. Knockout, and, um, yeah. Yeah, it was it's the same shot I I threw, I threw against Dragoni, mm. but obviously Dragon, I I put Dragoni down, but I just. Did not eat in obviously. How, yeah. how tough was Dragoni to fight? Oh, very tough. He, he had a hard, tough, he had a hard yeah. head too. Yeah, he, did, he had a hard head. Obviously, uh, um, I, I busted my hand a little bit. But it's all I know. It's all mm. I know. But uh, yeah, he did have a hard head. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, he's tough. Very tough. Yeah. You know, um, fair dues to him. To be honest, I thought he would have tired like after about four, five or six rounds. Yeah, but he still kept coming and um, he, he pushed me. You know. Me, you know? Well, you need now because you're going yeah. into these, you know, these long mm, fights. Of course, you need to go the distance exactly. with somebody that can take. Bro, the yeah, it brought it brought out the best of me. He did, mm. to be honest, as well. So yeah. that's why I want an opponent, yeah. not you know. So in this day and age in boxing, um, we were talking earlier on about how like some of these boxers are more than boxers now. They're like, you know, they're they're comedians in ways, course, or yeah, they, yeah. you know, they like your father was was a typical. Um, an example of someone people's who just gets person. in here, he's humble, course, yeah. a people's person. Mm -hmm. Have you taken a lot, of, a lot of that out from what your father done to what you're doing? Definitely, yeah. So obviously, um, my dad's always told me to be, um, always be humble, and just, um, and just, and just do your thing. You know, you're not better than anybody else. You know, we all, we all got our, you know, our own things to do in life. You know, mm -hmm. you know, if you're a, a nine to five office worker or or a fireman or, you know, or a police officer or whatever, you know, we're obviously, yeah. we're all the same. And obviously, you know, and um, I know obviously boxers are a bit different to everybody else of what we do, but yeah, you just treat treat everyone the same. Wow. Yeah, I know, it's bang mm. on. Um, with the Dragoni fight, we were just saying as well, I'm quite shocked about, mm. you didn't really have much exposure for, for this fight, did no, you? No. It seemed like he had a lot of interviews. Yeah. He even done a podcast before exactly, it. And, yeah. Like what, what, what? Like do you have to see someone yourself to like report these things on you? Like because I thought MTK would have taken care of yeah. that. Yeah. Um. So I think I think being um, 19 months out as well. Um. I think that obviously played a part, and also um my previous fights as well. Um. Uh, I haven't um boxed as well as I as um as I should have because of obviously like hand injuries I've had. Um. I've had to go into fights. My last like three or four fights before this, I've had to go in with bad hands. Really, my fault. Really going into the fights, but obviously I. I um I, I still won him, but I'm going in like fifty, sixty percent. Obviously in the gym I'm not I'm not sparring. Um and um yeah, obviously I haven't really told anyone, but obviously um this is the first time. Yeah, you know, really? obviously yeah, first time telling telling people obviously that that was the case really. I was obviously training for in these camps without sparring, mm. which was which isn't good really. I was just no. doing a lot of running. Um I was just doing like um punching these paddle pads, which is not a much impact on the hands. And um, when I when it was actually decent, then I would do a little bit of sparring just to get my distance, and then obviously saving my hands for the fight, really. So mm. is it just basically um, just concentrating on fitness, then, really? Is it? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, it was it was it was just showing him in a few of my fights, really, my last couple few fights before the the, the pandemic, before the lockdown. And um, yeah, I think a lot of people just thought like, oh, he's had his couple of knockouts and um, bit of like bit of fame. I don't think he's as good. As his dad and all that and stuff, but um, you're gonna get that, yeah, whatever you, you go, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. You know. Was your plan mm. to go the whole way then? Was it like, or? yeah, yeah, of course, you mm. know, obviously, um, this is my first title now, and um, <laughs> you know, I, I just want to just keep, uh, you know, uh, take one fight at a time. I, d I don't, I don't say I'm gonna be a uh, world champion, I'm gonna do this and do that, mm. I'm just take one fight at a time, and um, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, you, do, you, you don't have egg on your face, and if it don't, you mm. know, if it don't happen, then in it, so <laughs> you know, you yeah. See, and your dad knows you more than anyone, and he certainly knows the boxing game exactly, more than yeah. most people. Mm. Would you be looking to stick with him uh, for the foreseeable future? Of course, you know, obviously, um, you know, that it's our loyalty there, you know, and obviously, um, yeah, of course, you see people uh, bouncing around different trainers, different trainers, you know, trying to get that, um, you know, as they say, the grass isn't green on the other side, you know, but obviously, him being my dad as well, he's uh, he's always trained me since I was young, and yeah. I can, I can 
couldn't be with anybody else, to be yeah, honest. You've got that chemistry. And yeah, of course. You were yeah. earlier on the Lady podcast mm. that it's, chemistry is a, sh- like, it's it's a exactly, strong exactly, component. Yeah, it's exactly, really, man. Trust me. Mm, you know, yeah. so, yeah. Mm. Well, like obviously we're talking about training and whatever. Um, I've seen in a few articles, and obviously we know Neil as well, and I've seen videos on Facebook of you talking about um, wanting to train boxers and stuff. Um, we all know there's a, a, a youth problem on the streets and, you know, sports p- promotes positive well-being. Mm. You've been trying to get a boxing gym now for a while. What is the situation there and what's stopping you at the moment from... Um, at the moment, uh, maybe time I apply for them, obviously, um, to get a gym uh, or... A landlord says, "Oh, we're not giving up to um, gyms for them, for gyms, um, giving for up boxes. to whatever, um, boxing gyms or any other gym at the moment, because of the pandemic and all that. Because gyms are shutting, don't they? A lot of gyms are shutting. What's down. that? Because of the contact and stuff, is it? Mm. Or mm. yeah, yeah. But obviously, it's keeping the gym going. Isn't it? Obviously, keeping the pe- people coming in to pay, pay on the door, and you know, mm. pay for this, pay for that. So, um, hopefully, when it calms down, you know, I should get my gym then." Yeah, is so, it anywhere? So, in, is it anywhere in particular you want to go, or like, would you know, have I mean, it anywhere at the moment? Uh, anywhere in Cardiff, um, I'm, not, I'm not bothered. I could go Ely, I could mm. go um, Lambie Way, Newport Road, wherever. You know, you, you were up yeah. one in, in Newport though, innit? or something like that. What, like, what was the situation there? Um, I didn't really have one in Newport. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no, there's one in Newport, St. Joe's, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yeah, St. Yeah, Joe's. Yeah, we so worked from there. You were gonna open one though, at, no? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're obviously still planning on op- opening the yeah. gym, but um, mm. but uh, anyway, really, you know, yeah, whatever yeah, we, we don't mind. We can, yeah. Nice. You know? No, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's so, so much. There's so much negativity uh, in the streets these days, isn't it? Mm. It seems like it. I'd, I like. I'd like to say that it's like the generational thing, but it is genuinely seems to get worse and worse on the streets. Definitely. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, I, I want to jump in a bit then about about obviously how you won your title and stuff then. So it's a simple question. Obviously, um, when you they say you stepped in on short notice, um, what was what was the extent? What was the contrast in lifestyle from going to Newcastle and you know that day and coming back to Cardiff with a belt? What was the difference? Um, just being a world champion because eh? before that I wasn't a world champion. I was <laughs> like um, I was a, a double. WBA international champion, but I was um, I was entitled to fight for a world title. But luckily, I had a world title shot. And then, you know, like I said, come so quick over two days, prepared, lost half a stone, and made the weights on the day of the weigh-in. Was the day of the weigh-in, and then I boxed in the night, and then I went twelve rounds, and um, mm. I was world champion. Yeah. What was it like going up to there? Because uh, them Jordies were quite fierce, aren't they? Yeah, the crowd um, was it was a, it was a good crowd there. You know, it's um. When you, I think I had about 12 supporters on my side. Come up. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> Man, so yeah, yeah. I know. And um, yeah, and you know, I just block, blocked it off at the end of the day. It was just me and him in the ring. Mm. And then um, once the bell went, I just bleed myself. And you know, at the end of the day, I thought myself, if I lose, I lose the world champion. Yeah. But yeah. I believed I was going to win. So, and I won the fight. Do you think short notice sometimes is a, is a strength? In a way, it is, yeah. Because you know, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But I'm obviously, didn't give, didn't give me time to think about it. Lucky I was a natural fit person, mm. like, you know, I was always in a gym. But um, you know, and it's the took the fight to, yeah, as well, the spurs you want. Yeah, you know, and um, I didn't think I was prepared for the twelve round fight because I was in light training at the, at the time. Yeah. And well, but um, I just took took the fight and I won it. And yeah, you won it, yeah. Took mm-hmm. the and then how how many? I think you had like was it seven defenses? Yeah, the title? defenses. Yeah, yeah. Seven? I lost my eighth defense against the Nasty. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that now. Yeah. We'll get mm-hmm. to that now. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I want it. Like I, we'll always go on about the Nasty fight, but like. You fought mm-hmm. some respected boxers and defended mm-hmm. your title successfully. Mm-hmm. Out of them fights, is there any of them that like you know you look back on and think, "Wow, that was a tough fight"? And yeah, you know, all my fight, um, title fights were, were were tough. But I t- I, I box um, ex world champions. I box Con- Conor McMillan. He was a good fighter. Mm-hmm. You know, um, um, Paul Hodgkinson, WBC world champion, and also Duke McKenzie. Yeah, he was a world champion. Two different weights as well, like so, or three different weights. Sorry. So yeah, you know, I box all comers, you know, good fighters, and um, I beat them. I was, I was the underdog, most of them. Even on them ones as champion? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's mad, And they it? come to my, mm. my my own town, like, you know, mm. I was underdog against um, Colin McMillan, also Paul Hodgkinson as well. And these were in Cardiff, these yeah, fights? Yeah, in Cardiff, yeah. yeah. Mad. You wanted to say about the Nazim fight, yeah, didn't well, you? Yeah, well, yeah, the Nazim fights, you know, I rewatched it, like, um, mm. the other night, like, when, when I knew he was getting you on, and... You could see like that atmosphere was crazy. Like you could see the people; they mm. did not like Nazim. Did they? <laughs> no, they no. didn't. They didn't. Um, no. You know, um, I got a bit of a story with that. With that, obviously, preparation of fight. You run, know? Up, run with it. Yeah. Run with you know, it. I um, want to know what, it's, what you know, it was like. Um, it was a bit short notice the fight originally, and I, I trained three and a half weeks for that fight, and then I was told if I didn't fight him, they would strip me of the world title. 
I was so proud as far I can't be stripped of the world title. So I decided, oh, I was always naturally fit, but I wasn't like fighting fit, ready for the, like a uh, 12 round fight. I come back from my honeymoon. I went, went to Portugal and I got married to my wife, Angela. And um, actually, Jacob was only about, was it well, six months old then at the time? Yeah, September 95, wasn't it? So, yeah, um, so yeah. I'm August, yeah. August oh, only 94. a few months old, yeah. 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 August, yeah. August, August, August the 23rd. I'm the eight, yeah. 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 Yeah, but like, I, I like, listen, don't don't have a go at me now, like, because you'd be like, but like, we're in your short notice with, with Davison. Yeah, yeah, I know I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then but it was different then. Yeah, different yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you're right. With Nasty, you've got to prepare for that yeah, start. That's, that, big, yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's, that's the answer yeah. I was expecting. You know, have a lot of salt, poor spad and everything, gravy. you know. Mm. And, you know, mm. you got to be super fit. He's fighting, he's foot, foot square on a lot of the time, didn't he? Like, yeah, a lot of the times, yeah, he's just showing off, Ducks, when you know, um, how, how to uh, prepare for. Do you, you know, study those fights then, like the your dad's dad? Yeah, yeah, of course, you know. Um, and obviously, um, I watch a little bit of um, Nassi myself as well, you know. Mm. It's for, for, uh, funny funny enough. But um, I've never watched the, the Nassi fight against my dad, though. Really? Never watched Why it. Why? Just never watched it. Mm. Is it because he lost? Mm, yeah, in, yeah, in that sense. But I've seen the highlights. Eh? I've seen the highlights of it, but well, I've just never... That's I've interesting. Ne that but is. yeah, I've never, I've never sat down and watched the whole fight. But, I, but you know, was well, that his dad's like you're not watching? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Watching that I, think, I, think, I think it was. Um, I think obviously losing that that fight as well. Obviously, he was mm. you know he was uh, he had a long run. He was obviously like two and a half years um, long run. Seven defenses of it obviously would have been his eighth. So yeah. I think it was. Um, you know, it, it, it did it did hurt him like you know in yeah, that sense. You know, yeah. I was a bit, bit burned out. Like you know, they yeah, I, to fight. you went the whole you went yeah. the whole way though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was a young guy, and course, I think yeah. that's what people respect you for. This mm. guy was was due to be the mm. the, the next big thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, did you always have him in your minds like I'm gonna I'm gonna I know this is gonna come one day or yeah yeah, but I wasn't prepared to fight him at that time because I come come back from my honeymoon and um, yeah, they took me to fight him by a certain time. That's wrong, man. I just wish I had more preparation. I'm not saying that would have beaten. How preparation would you have said you should have? had at least three to four months really against the, something like that but yeah, i'm not yeah, saying that would have yeah. beat him but you know it, it, he, was, he was a great fighter you, yeah 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 i, pr I feel like i would have given him a hell of a fight i would have took him full distance like, you know mm. was was the nazim uh fight the end of it for you then or because at the time i was well, down i got beaten but you had a few more title fights after yeah that. yeah i yeah, won yeah. i come back and won a european title yeah and a junior you world won title. you won that one then after yeah yeah, yeah. 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 and then i won junior world title mm. and WBO. Intercontinental. And what's the difference here then with the, with them titles? Then what's the junior world title? This is like a, a step away from the world. So top, is it like the fight? WBC where they got the the um, yeah silver? Yeah, you got like silver. WBC mm. silver. Yeah, so like a That's still similar. Sick, then, yeah, of course, mm. man. You know, and obviously it, it shows your character. Really, if you come back from a crushing defeat like that, mm. and um, it shows your character. You know, to, how did to, that to bounce back? Your mentality you know, when so. you lost, like well, like how down were you and how, did you think like I had to need to get back up now or what was the Yeah, situation? I was down, you know, I, you know, I was down and, but um, I got a champion in me so I decided, you know, when I lost, champ, man. So I want to come back and win. Mm. That's what champions are. Of course, you know, yeah. Muhammad Ali lost his ball title and he come back three times, you know, so, yeah. so, you know, great fights like that. You know, so. Yeah, yeah. Do you think your like hard work, your grit determination comes from the way you have brought up? Yeah, in a way, yeah, yeah. I feel like I had a bit of skill as well because I think I had a good jab and a good left hook to the body. You know, I was, oh I yeah, hundred percent. Good basics. Mm. I I've done a basics. You quite, need the quite, basics. Yeah, yeah, you need it very well. And so I had a good jab and you know, good. I was a time. My timing was quite pretty good as well. Good accuracy. Mm. So yeah, and, uh, classical boxing. Style. Yeah, it kept my hands mm. in the right place. You mm. know, you know. So who trained you at a younger age? Then was it was it like. My old trainer, Ronnie. It was Ronnie yeah, from, yeah, from yeah, the yeah, get-go, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You said he's, um, he, he's, in, he's in the care home, in the yeah, care home yeah, now, yeah, is he? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Sad, like, you know, is yeah. he okay? or He seems all right, but he, obviously his memory's gone now, more or less. Yeah, that's, I think that's the most Shattered painful him, with anyone, yeah. isn't it? When, yeah. when their memory goes. Mm. and He's more like, more of a dad, too. Obviously, you didn't yeah, know your was. dad wasn't around. Mm. Yeah, I was brought up by one parent as well, like my mother that's brought me up. and Yeah, he's like my father figure. How many, how many, was your mother bringing up? Um... Oh, my, uh, my brother and sister as well, yeah, three of us. Yeah, yeah. Three Didn't your one. brother box as well? Yeah, he for a bit. Only had one fight. But he weren't like Luke. <laughs> <laughs> no, he weren't like Luke. No, no, no. no. I've got, I've been more skilled than him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was very strong, very strong. Yeah. Salpo. What yeah, happened to one of his Salpo. fights you were saying? You, you, uh, tell him about the fight he had before when he had his fight. Yeah, what happened though? What did he do? He blew up, didn't he? He, <laughs> oh, he, yeah, he hit the guy, didn't he? He blew up in the second. Yeah, he had the guy in the first round. He hurt him. And then he sort of like 
run out of steam because you're yeah. so tired. <laughs> and just about last distance. Yeah, yeah, lost yeah that's what happened. Yeah. Really, didn't give up himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> 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 He said, it's, it's not for me, mate. The rubber, yeah, yeah, he sat around. in the corner yeah. and never got up, like, yeah. looking at the flat. Do you, um, obviously, yeah, and so, like, obviously, do you see any of the stuff that Ronnie taught you, you teaching Jacob? Do yeah, you yeah. Some... a bit of it, yeah, because I'm going to always make sure you're going to be um, side on, which, which is cut the angles. So you get some fights quite square, mm. um, cut the angles long and everything. And obviously, the jab, you got a good jab. So, yeah, and work on them um, parrying punches, blocking punches, and everything, you know. But obviously, he had his own style to his um, own, you know, the way he boxes, like, you know. So yeah. certain things I teach him, but then Are you like, like where did you yourself. get this from? Like yeah, some you of the just pick it up yeah, yourself, you know. Yeah. For, you that's know. from watching fighters. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? that's what I'd, I'd say from watching fighters. But um, a lot of the time, it's just if it's just in you, it's in you, isn't it? You're just gonna, it's just gonna do it, isn't you? It's yeah. like it's like when you watch like certain uh, fighters, like um, like say Andrew Salby. Mm. He just uh, he does things. He's, the, he, he's that guy. He, isn't he, yeah. he probably doesn't even know that he's doing it. It's, it's the same with me. Certain things I do, I don't even know that I'm doing it. Punches. It's like you walk over that. It's like a cross. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't I, know what you the call gazelle, it. To be the gazelle punch. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, it, looks, it looks good. It's certain mm. things I do. I, I I don't do in this inspiring or I don't do it when I'm on the pads with my dad. I just comes out just, when you're there. Yeah, just it? it's Off just yeah. Literally, you just don't think of it. It's like that that punch I I um I knocked out that guy when I had the knockout of the year. Um, I don't know where that come from mm. because it was just like um, it just it just came in and I was here then obviously when I watched it back I was thinking whoa like to me but obviously a lot of people mm. were, uh, were excited about it you know goes so, to show bro you've got that natural talent it, there because mm. yeah. yeah. for you to yeah. pick them punches out without mm. them practice yeah wins, yeah I, I didn't obviously. even come it didn't even come come mm. into my head when I threw it mm, natural you know? and uh, it was just like um, yeah very loose when you punch just boom, boom, you know in just movements and yeah. are you the same as well um, you know, I, I you know, I was I had my own talent, my own way, but um, yeah. I was to put loads of punches together, like put clusters, mm. I get them on a rope. Burn like, you know, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> non stop pistons, like, yeah, yeah. You know, my fitness is great. Like, you know, so, have you ever, um, have you ever sparred each other then? Uh, yeah. or is it the type of years like, ago. I wouldn't want to, like, I wouldn't want to bang my dad in the no, face. No. Like, I mean, <laughs> is nah. it like, yeah, now we sparred years ago when I was a kid, like, yeah, obviously, yeah. just like taking me through. He used to spar yeah. more with my older brother, though. They used to have quite, mm. quite good spars, didn't you? you yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. obviously he's older than me, obviously. And, uh, yeah, yeah. some tough spars, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but you say it all in past tense as if like, you was like, I don't spar, I don't punch bags on one. <laughs> You're done with that. Is it, don't like, spar no more, no. I don't no. need to, no. no. So, yeah. Mm. You might have to. Fight, yeah, fight 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 fight. And almost 50 feet. Yeah, 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 don't spar, you know. No, no, so, no. Yeah. no. If Nazim calls him out, man, he wants to get back sparring. One more, one more. Would you go for it, yeah? Probably would if the money's right. Yeah. Anyone would win it. Of course. Of course. So, um, what's what's the uh, future for you, Jake? In like, what's next? Yeah. So, um, they've, they've we've been in talks now with a Commonwealth title fight. There's a guy from uh, Scotland who's um, Commonwealth champion. Um, he had a defense on the same night as me when I boxed. So, um, yeah, good uh, good fighter he is. Um, if I if I can come through either February March time, then um, happy days. But um. But um, yeah, I just gotta just wait now. Obviously, you got like the Eubank Liam Williams um, fight, yeah, 29th yeah. of Jan. I'd love to jump on that. You, it's some, still open to jump yeah, on things. I'd, like I'd that love then, to jump it? on it. You know, I, I'm I'm the I'm the Welsh champion now at Fairweight. Welsh so, champion, yeah, Cardiff yeah, boy. Yeah, why yeah, not? I I, I sell a uh, decent a lot amount of tickets too, and um, I I don't see why not. Nice. You know, they're pitting on other people's on this uh, on this show where I'm thinking, you know, do they have like a, do they deserve know, it? Yeah, do they deserve it really in that sense? So. We we'll see. We'll What's see your what... predictions on that fight? I'll see how. Um, I d it's a fifty-fifty fight, I think. But mm. I think, I think, um, I, you know, I'm obviously going for Liam Williams. Obviously, he's uh, he's under the same management team as me, yeah. MTK as well, and um, being Welsh as well. Yeah. Obviously, I'd love to see Liam do it. Do it. Obviously, you know? it's it's a big fight for them both yeah, now, isn't it? Because if they mm. get this fight, then mm. that's going to give them the. But I, th I think I think Liam's uh, got more of a momentum. I think I know yeah. he lost his last fight, but I think he's got you the can momentum. You see in the press mm. conference, he's, he's, yeah. he's like yeah. sending. He's uh, yeah. he's mm. coming aggressive. I think, you, with I her, think he? Eubanks a bit like um, he's had his 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 chance. I think before, but I think his um, the momentum is with Liam. Mm. I think he's got the the one to prove more. You know, yeah. so yeah. you know. What do you think? Um, Liam needs to do to fit, like to get a job done. Um, it just 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 do him, innit? it? Just do what, what he does, you know. And um, you know, he does everything with right, the basics, right? I'd say. Um, 
But if obviously you bang, he's got a he's got a good um, work rate though. You mm, bank junior, same as your old man. Yeah, 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 God, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a wicked work rate, but more of a work rate than his than his dad. You yeah. bank well, when he was fighting senior, he didn't used to have work rate. He used to just wait a lot, and then obviously when he let his shots go, he would take people out. You know, he was, he was yeah. very dangerous. But yeah. um, I'd I, say I'd say you bank got a bit. Uh, Better, better work rate than his old man. Yeah, so I can see Liam coming in with his head forward and just yeah. it's just the if because obviously, um, what's his name? Uh, Eubanks yeah. and the Roy Jones now, isn't he? Of course, yeah. And it's just gonna it's, it's that's it's, the worrying thing. It's be to, good to see to, how. To be honest, I don't. I um, sorry to really interrupt on. you, no. but yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't see him um in being that much improved. Yeah, being mm. with Roy Jones, I well, he's only been with him a short amount of time. Yeah, now, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but. You know, it, obviously, this this could be the fight which could bring out the best mm. in him. Yeah, you just you just gotta see. You know. Yeah, yeah. I think like like going back to like you said, uh, setting out you know the, the, the motor point. I think now, not saying because we've just come on the podcast. Mm. I mean, you've just won the Welsh title. I yeah. think people in Cardiff and and I know you've got a great support network. Mm. I get loads yeah. of your mates messaging me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You are get get Jacob on, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I think I think the city and the country of Wales needs to back mm. you more now. Yeah, mate. yeah, that's it now. You know, I, I think we you know. we need to be pushing you as Definitely. as another prospect who's who's mm. up and coming, not course, just because yeah. you're old man. Yeah. But because of what you're doing as a boxer, yeah, exactly, yeah. and well, you know, there, like, hopefully, yeah, yeah. yeah, man, yeah, yeah. hopefully that yeah, will he, that will come into fruition. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just um, it's just coming out of his footsteps, really. Because obviously, a lot of people, you know, when they talk about me, they they go straight to my dad, which is understandable. But it's nice yeah. to just pull away from, you know, come out of his footsteps, really, and just be my own, be your individual, own person. In, individual, individual, you know. So. Yeah, but I think as well, though, uh, Jake, you know, like with some other people who've got father and son in sports, they're very yeah. cocky people. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, yeah. in, being in one Formula of them. One, yeah. you ain't yeah. cocky. You're not no, cocky and no, you're not cocky. No, no, so no. I think it's a total different ball exactly, game uh, exactly. with father and son yeah. with you two. Yeah. People can't just chuck that at you because... No. You're very well, humble people. Well, what I say, you know, we, we keep to ourselves. You know, obviously, I'm, I'm, you know, on our social medias, um, we don't we don't say we're going to do this, we'll do that. We, you know, we just uh, get on with our training and um, and yeah, yeah. I've got um, I've got some questions for all of you. Well, for both of you. <laughs> so the, the first of all, I got three fight predictions. You jumped in on the one already, but let's get it from the two of them. Okay. So obviously, we got three fights coming now in the next couple of months. The first. We'll go in on this now on the first prediction anyway, because I want to take your every box I speak to now, I want to have their take on it. Mm. But the, the 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 first fight that's coming about is Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. <laughs> 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 what's your take? Oh, Before man. we go on predictions, what's your take mm. Both, on yeah. the YouTuber boxes, the Jake Pauls, the Logan Pauls? I'll start with you, Steve. Um, yeah, indeed. Um, <laughs> Fury, Fury. <laughs> Fury is, a, is a proper professional boxer, but then, you know, I rate him, but I don't rate him as a top fighter, but he's all right. But um, he should beat um, Paul easy. So what do you think of these YouTubers then? What do you, I do you think, do you think they're ruining it. the sport? Or? Well, Tommy well, Fury's you know. not a YouTuber, is he? He's an actual boxer. He's the first boxer, boxer yeah. that's yeah. actually yeah. stepping to him because yeah. the others have been well, like well, MMA YouTubers. fighters or yeah, just or, YouTubers. Or YouTube, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're making money, isn't he? But obviously mm. I think it fakes. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, like it's, you know, I'd say it's good for boxing in a in a one way. So obviously it's getting like the uh, the average person to uh, to watch boxing, you know. It's obviously you know all their all their like their followers they're not boxing fans. So yeah. in that sense, it's, it's getting boxing, you know, in the limelight. And in every way, obviously, my, I'm a fighter myself. You think like, oh, you know, they they um they're making all this money. You, you making, deserve it. Yeah, yeah. You make I'm making yeah. like not even nowhere near as much money as all these. Start like, calling out YouTube. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Get on it, bro. Do you know bro. What? I'm going, I'm I'm going to have that. to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, your dad goes, I might do that. Yeah. Call me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll you what, you have to you like yeah. get a YouTube fight and then you'll yeah. have to fight Nazim, bro. And I don't then, I don't mind fighting like a, a YouTuber who's like 12 stone and I'll just come in at like 10 stone or whatever, you know. I don't yeah. mind. I'll, yeah. I'll fight him for the, nice, you know. man. Yeah. Keep them. your eyes peeled. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, you've got to, you've got to. I got, yeah. you know, in that sense, but... Totally. Two stone see, difference, a bit different with you and your old man. Don't yeah. you? <laughs> still back to me, mate. You still back to me. You will just see the fight panning out, though. Like, uh, well, with, 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 yeah, with Jake Paul uh, and Tom, d- d- Tommy Fury. Like, to be honest, like, Fury's, be honest. Still, like, Fury's obviously still, um, I'd say, a little bit, um, uh, as they call it, green. You know, he's still, he's still coming through, you know, a bit. So, you know, he, he's he's decent, Tommy. Like, but like I said, he, he's not all that as a, as a fighter, though, personally. But, you know, he's... Um, 
he's a fury as well, you know. So he really he's, he's probably got something in him. Which is, is it? Don't like it seems to be like his name's the only thing that's carrying him because nah, his boxing it. ability ain't the greatest. No, no. Would you say no. that? Yeah. And, and that Jake it. looks like a tough cookie. Yeah, like, yeah. He looks you know like what? He's, he can box. he's not. He's not. He's not, though, he's, yeah. not, he's, not he's not bad. Like you know, you watch. You look at Jake Paul. He's actually not bad. Mm. You know, you watch him. His technique and everything. They're all round athletes. Yeah, the two yeah, of them. Yeah, like, yeah. Fair dues to him. I just think it's a joke when you see like the likes of mm. Floyd and, and Logan Paul yeah, yeah, fighting that's together. Mm. That, that, that's, 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 that's another yeah. one yeah. as well. Yeah. Floyd, Floyd is just um, it's just a businessman. Isn't he's he? a money man and, guy. Um, yeah, he's, just, he don't, he, he's, he's not really bothered about his legacy or anything. Mm. And he really, obviously, he's done his, what he's got to do. But uh, it's just money, you know. All right, yeah. Mm. We, we just went on to this one. We'll, we'll just wrap. I'll ask the both of you quickly. So Liam Williams, Chris Eubank Jr. are fighting in January now. Mm. What's, what's your take first, Steve? Um, I don't know. I don't really know. Liam is a really good boxer, but I just think um, Eubank got experience. Personally, I want Liam to win, but um, I don't know. I just think Eubank. You're gonna go for the Eubank, yeah, because yeah? he's experienced. Like, you know, okay, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I got obviously back Liam Williams. You know, obviously being a Welsh fighter as well, and um, same uh, management team as myself. Um, yeah, you know, it's a fifty-fifty fight though. You know, whoever that turns up, really, I'd say, but Liam Williams though. Nice. At home in Cardiff as well, it's you exactly know. Hopefully the atmosphere is like it used to be yep. with Robbo. Exactly yeah. Down the arms park. Yeah, that's it. Man, the arms park, yeah. man. Or the old ice rink, and you know. Was it the old up. ice rink most of the fights? Yeah, most, yeah, most the of the ice fences, rink. yeah. And then, was it? Yeah. Park. <laughs> Cardiff was a different place then, wasn't But, you know, it? obviously, oh, it's it's having a home crowd behind, behind you, that gives you a two-round start. The same with Liam. You could yeah. have a be right to the occasion. Mm. You a two-round start and, you know, we could... Take it to um obviously Eubank and Wimbank, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's I think Eubank, Eubank f- like he, he loves that though, don't he? Yeah. He loves yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's that type of guy and mm. he's so cocky. Yeah, he, like, he likes being the uh the bad guy, doesn't he really? Yeah. You know, so mm. well, yeah. we all mm-hmm. we'll see what happens here then. And and then the last one, which which I'm very excited about as well, is uh Amir Khan, Cal mm. Brook. Yeah. Steve. Um it's out of the scene, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna go for um Khan. Can. Yeah, I got a feeling. I just got a feeling. As long as you don't get caught on chin, then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. That's the only thing in it with, yeah. with Khan. He's got I the know. skills and that, like, yeah, but, he, yeah. you know, you catch him, he, he's just gone. Yeah, yeah. sure. Well, sure. how would you see it, like, winning knockout or going the other way? Probably them um, points. Points, yeah. Mm, probably points. Yeah. But then maybe you could stop him because he had bad, bad eyes as well. His eye suck. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. So. Mm. I've seen Cal Brook blazing weed and that on, on social media yeah, the other yeah, week and yeah. he's like, you know, uh, yeah. you know we don't get tested that doesn't make a difference really, really, does it? no um, it's not like an enhancing drug no. really no, no that's what it is we, we said this with Liam with mm. drug tests and that it's mm. People think it's oh my god he's got weed in his mm. system mm. but it's the testing for the enhancements enhancements yeah yeah, yeah you know so yeah. what do you what do you think um, the, well it's, to be honest this fight is like 10, 10 years overdue Really, 100%. to be honest, you know, and it's um, it's you know, it's obviously their their, their last call, now, yeah, would you say? it's their last payday. So I'd say probably Cal Brook, really, because obviously he boxed Crawford what last year was it? That, yeah, and uh, he's been more, the more active yeah. fighter. I say um, I say Cal Brook, but at, at the best, both of them at their best in their primes, it's it's a hard fight. It's, it it's such a 50-50 fight because can like no one's touching it. If he boxed properly and he, he had his head screwed on properly, not. He probably would have given uh, Mayweather trouble. That's the shame about Khan. Yeah, that's what it is. It is. It's a shame, really. But like, as in hands wise, it's like everything. He's just wicked fire, Khan. Yeah, yeah, it's a and shame. So, yeah, yeah, trust me. That Ingle gym must be popping at the moment because Liam and Kevin looked at it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. All right, and these questions are for you two now. <laughs> so uh, here we go. And who's the fastest out of you two? What do you mean? <laughs> running running wise or, or, or hands wise or I'll, 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 all around we, we spoke about we spoke about hands didn't we yeah. so who's the fastest out of you two end at the moment he is but I, I would have beat him when I was younger though. do you reckon well, no, do you think, do you he thinks he would so? beat me <laughs> nah I don't think he would have I, don't think, I think I'm faster. <laughs> on a hill sprint I would have beat you do you reckon because I had strong <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I don't think very would strong, have very strong very strong <laughs> you know, I always always run, didn't I? Obviously, I was I was playing rugby as well and obviously I was, uh, I was... Do, you, do you reckon you would have been a good rugby player yeah, yeah, I was a play for my school as well. Yeah, I was on. Uh, you, did, you didn't play for county though, didn't you? No, no, I didn't. I didn't represent. No, I was playing for my school. I was a winger as well. Is it? Come yeah, on, man. Yeah. He was on Grand Ave, chilling, man. Yeah, um, but yeah, man. Um, yeah, he used to watch me play a lot. Didn't you? Rugby, man. Remember that try I scored before? Yeah, yeah. 
That was a good one. Would have, remember that one? He was that, that big guy as well. I jumped on his back. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he, he, no, honestly, I was, I was so small. He, he was obviously he was running down that down. Obviously, the touch you? I'm 27 now. Yeah, just underneath my brother. Like, did, did, what club did you play for? Uh, what well, is in well, rugby? Um, it, it was a club in Newport. It was oh, you was at them? Yeah, was yeah. Them. So obviously, I went to school in Newport as well. So. Oh, well, you're in Marshfield, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. So on, the, on the cusp, um, you? Yeah, yeah, man. So obviously, um, I was playing for Newport then for a bit, and um, but yeah, man. Um, we're in Artridge by any chance, was no, it? No, they're uh, fucking rough, rough. Oh yeah, rugby, yeah. They have good. They got good football. Um, good uh, football uh, thing with Artridge. They're fucking rather, nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Um, Basic. I went to. Basic. Yeah, Basic. Nice. Yeah, man. So, uh, but yeah, yeah. All right, then. So uh, we're putting it down to. Jacob being the fastest, yeah. No, I admit he would have probably been a bit faster, but on on it comes to like hill runs and yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. distance running. Yeah, distance running. He was he was five miles, too. eight six miles. I was I was. All right, who's special? Who, 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 in their prime, who's the fittest out of you two? Different kind of fitness, isn't it? You know, like I said, he's more athletic. Let's talk fit. in the ring then. Fitness. Who, who, who's fitter? I was. He's, 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 yeah. he's a champion, yeah. isn't he? Because you know, so I've been twelve obviously. rounds many times, and you yeah, know, yeah. Okay. He's still got a bit of time to catch up to my. That, Obviously, yeah, of course. Class fitness, of course. Name, so mm. you just off Who's the most skillful? Well, I had to say, yeah, Jake. But I had a better jab in him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had a good in fight. You know, I was a good hook to the body. I was, a, I was an in fighter. Yeah, but I don't know. His I jab think is styles good. have changed anyway. Yeah. So Jacob's jab is good as well. Yeah. I mean, actually, mm. his jab, his jab is just as good as my my jab. But um, I was a good in fighter. Yeah, I, I got fight inside bet, pretty better, really. But, um, I don't know. Not that much, but he's, would you say he's, would you say that as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah. yeah. But he's he's the champo man, isn't he? He's, yeah. he's got he's got the war tall in him, man. And, <laughs> he's gonna be giving uh, you dead legs yeah. in the car. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> his <laughs> movement, his <laughs> movement, his, his, his movement is a crazy. It's crazy. I've, 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 I've clocked that like yeah, as well. I'm yeah. Not like I got an eye of boxing, but you can just see, can you? When you watch someone fight and 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 the way they move away in and mm -hmm. out, and I can see that, Jake. Um, who's a better looking out of you two in your prime, man? <laughs> Let's say 21 years old. There's a 21 year age Jacob, and a 21 Robbo, Steve. Who, uh, who's better looking? Now, nah, do you know what? I was looking at the old wedding photos with, uh, with, my, <laughs> mom my, with, with my mum and dad the other, the other week. And um, I, was, I was looking at it, I was thinking, oh, he was a good looking guy back in the day. Yeah. He was, you know, he was sharp, sharp. Man. Nah, he was sharp on, man. He was sharp, <laughs> like Demi. No, you're just like a skinned. I think yeah, you're the yeah, double yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all look the same. Yeah, yeah, but I got it's a, it's, a, it's a weird contract. I got like a bit of my mum. Some people say I look like my mum, and then a bit of him. But yeah, yeah. And they say in relationships as well. When if together so long, like they look, you look like yeah. your wife as well. Yeah, they say yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. They say yeah. that. You draw features of that. Yeah. It's yeah. Madrid, like it's a mad, dog, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. We got we got a dog. What are you trying to say there? Rob? <laughs> nah, we got yeah. a dog called Rigo. He's a Scottish terrier. He's that he's starting to look like my daddy is. To be honest, the oh. dog. The dog oh, is honestly, 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 You look yeah. like dogs, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy dog. <laughs> man. All right, then. Who's, who, who has the most boxing knowledge? Oh, you two. Him, yeah. How do you have? <laughs> no, no. I, oh, I, I, I was on, I, online, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 Let's I, I, find I, out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a quick fire round here. Yeah, it's 10 questions. Mm. Yeah. The both of you, I'm trying to the test. test. Let's put it to the test, is it? Let's go, man. Yeah, Make sure, right. Steve, you're on that mic ready. <laughs> All right, and the first one is Tyson Fury has won an Olympic gold medal. True or false? False. False. One nil. No. Oh, it got to be before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got to keep mm -hmm. this running, right? All right, all right. Which super mate, which super mate, <laughs> super mate, <laughs> yeah. which super middleweight fighter retired in 2008 with 46 wins, no draws, no defeats? Joe Kazakh. Joe Kazakh. I'm going to give that to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give that to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is mad. <laughs> which British boxer held the pay per view record up until 2002 when Lennox Lewis take, took it over? Pay per view, um, Nassim? Well done. Oh, yeah, it was nasty. Okay. Okay. Mm. Well, think about that one. Hey. How old was George Foreman when he became the oldest heavyweight champion? 49. No. 46, wasn't he? Or 47, wasn't he? No. He's in his 50s, wasn't he? No, sure, he he's wasn't. Nah, you're close, he's you're not far off. Nah, you're, close. He's you're close. He's younger than that, wasn't he? Just keep flying numbers. Um, he was like in 43. his 40s, wasn't he? Yeah, 44. he's 40s, wasn't he? 43? We need an exact number, yeah. 45, oh, is he? Oh. 45. Is he? Oh, okay. I said 46 or didn't I? I thought yeah. he was 54 for yeah. some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 45. yeah. I, thought, I said 46 my first one, no, didn't I? Okay. Is it 45? Yeah, I know. Yeah, went off, I man. Yeah. yeah, that yeah, was close. That was close. All right, then. What's that? 3-1? Yeah. 
Three one, one, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you've got to make it back now. Mm. In which German city did Tyson Fury defeat Klitschko in 2015? No. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. No, I know. Not, no, no, I know. not I Berlin, was it? No, not no, Berlin, but he does yeah. always talk about it. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, I've, yeah it was Germany, wasn't it? It was. Um, oh, I can't remember. It was in a stadium as well, wasn't it? It was. So well, football stadium as well. <laughs> no, it was over the field. Yeah, yeah. We'll 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 drop that yeah, one. Go, it yeah, was Dusseldorf. That's oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. How many times has Anthony Joshua fought outside the UK? Mm. Once. Hmm. Yeah. He boxed obviously Andy Ruiz out in uh, America, didn't he? Then he boxed um, mm. two. Well done. Nice. Yeah, twice. Yeah, he well fought done, him yeah. again, yeah. didn't he? In, uh, yeah. That's what you were saying. In Dubai, wasn't it? They built the whole arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. Dubai, yeah, twice. Yeah, yeah. It's 3 2. Yeah. It's 3 2. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where was boxing first introduced as an organised sport? Mm. That's a historian's question, that, isn't it? Yes. Um, Rome. No. No. Close. Mm. <laughs> UK. <laughs> no, yeah, I can no. Tell if you. it's close to ancient Rome, it yeah. could be ancient. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can, I can, I can, Still no idea. Yeah. Italy? Like, nah, it's the home. No. It's, it's my grandfather's land of Greece. Is it? Oh, it's Greece, it's Greece, Greece, yes, Greece. Yes, Olympics, yeah. Olympics and there. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. I didn't even know that, man. Yeah. Yeah, what is the fastest knockout ever recorded in a title fight? I think it's like um, well, eight, eight or nine seconds. Is it? Yeah, Nicky Piper done, haven't you? In what time? Ooh, six seconds, is it? So, or eight? <laughs> I've, I've got you. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's right. Uh, 11 uh, seconds. Yeah, 11 was, it seconds. Oh, was, it be, yeah. was it Tete? Was it a guy called Tete who done it? I don't know. I just It just says 11 seconds. Yeah. I'll find out. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, was it? Oh, sure. I, thought it was, I thought they'd be one for like five seconds or something because mm -hmm. UFC is very quick, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it's mm -hmm. 11 seconds, I got. Um... Who was the first fight to defeat Mike Tyson as a professional? Buster Douglas. No, no. Yeah. And the final one is, how old was Mike Tyson when he first won his title? 20. 20. Oh, no. yeah. What's that? Is it four or? <laughs> nah, I, I won that. I won this. <laughs> I have won this, isn't it? What was, if you, you had one, you had one, didn't you? <laughs> you can't let him go uh, off without no. that. If, you, if it's going to take a while, don't worry. Twenty is a mad age, or that. Yeah, yeah. Being 20, like 20. I know, you man. Know, especially. How old was you? When I was twenty-four, I was. Yeah, I was quite young. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Mm. You don't realise, Jake, you're still young. Yeah, but I was Yeah, in that sense, is obviously a bit bit different. When you look at George Foreman, who come back at 35. I know what I what <laughs> Anyone I say, yeah. can come back. I know what I, that's right. Yeah. That's how you um you know um look after your body in it. Yeah. You know, yeah, in that I'll, sense. And um, I won the Welsh Fairway title when I was twenty two, so you know. Mm. And then nice. One of them. Yo, mm. this is the other side of the yeah, lads. In two thousand and three, which form a middleweight won a heavyweight world title? Roy Jones. Oh, no, nice. you just beat me to it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I was like a sparring match. Yeah, really. It was, it was, it was one of those ones, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know. In their prime, a, who would the foot went out of those two, Dragon? Pound for pound. Really two dis yeah, it's different Ooh, weights yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, they were they, yeah, they they in that basically, sense. Basically, he was coming out of it. Yeah, Roy, Roy was more like at his best when he was like a middleweight super yeah, middle, yeah, you know, so... Um, in yeah, but, um, that was yeah. the fight everyone wanted to see, though, wasn't it? Like, yeah, of course, obviously, when he went... well. When Roy went up to heavyweight, obviously, he won really the same. Tyson was coming out as well. Yeah, of course, in that sense, but... um. Both great fighters, oh man! Like Roy, Roy back in the day, like you mm. can, you can, like um, you can't beat that to no. me. And at his best, he beats, he was, he was beating everybody. I loved Roy you know, Jones. He yeah, was one of my favorite boxers. Yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. mm. speed, power. You know, he literally movement. was the full yeah. package, were not he? Mm. Rush. If you Rush. um, if you've got a, a Mount Rushmore, you can give us of uh, your top four greatest of all time Welsh boxers. Welsh mm. boxers, yeah. Welsh all the time. Got to be Joe Kozaki. Um, was Jimmy Wild. 
Yeah, yeah. The with the fist, um, the course of the hammer, is it? Yeah. Is that the one the course of the yeah. hammer? Jimmy yeah. Wald. Yeah. Jimmy Wald, yeah, see. What a good um, fighter. He's probably the best of all time, really, mm. out of all the Welsh fighters, I'd say. Yeah. Jimmy Wald. Mm. Yeah. I'd have to put him up there. And then Joe second. Mm. Mm. Um, I've got to pick four, is it? Two more. You've got to pick yourself, really. Mate, <laughs> you've got to be a... Oh, you know, be nice to pick myself. No, I know. I, that's what I love about you, Steve. That's what I love about you. Uh, like, we do it with the rappers. Like, if they do their top four mm. uh, best MCs in Wales, mm. they always put themselves there. You've got mm. to as uh, a... Yeah, yeah, and it's just... Uh, you know? Also, yeah. rate Robbie Regan. Remember Robbie, Robbie Regan? Robbie Regan? Yeah, he's a great fighter. He fight passed away, didn't he? Yeah. Was he in the same no, state? No, no, he's, he's no, still alive. He's alive. He's, he's, like, he's, um, he went on the drink for a bit then, Robbie, and he just... Um, oh, sorry, Rob. Sorry, Rob. No, no, no. He couldn't carry on boxing because he had um, he failed yeah. a brain scan. That's mm. what it was. Like that. Did you know? Uh, did you know Tim Pat Thomas? Good. Yeah, good fighter. Yeah, yeah. Thomas. Yeah, I know. We used to train Tiger Bay, innit? Yeah, uh, British British champion, money. Yeah, where I live. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good fighter, man, Pat Thomas. Yeah, yeah. Because back champion, then, yeah. Back, yeah. Well, back then, I was like when British champion was hard to be a British mm. champion. Well, they have to chuck in like ten belts at people. Like this is like, but that's it. Yeah, because you know, you know. I think being Welsh champion is a great start for you, Jake. Isn't but, it? but but that's it, you know, it's your, it's your area title, you know, it's um that's the um your regional title. That's my. You have the Celtic title. title in that as well, don't they? Yeah, the, the Celtic title as well. Mm. Yeah, you got the Celtic title, and then um, mm. and then obviously after that, Commonwealth British. So yeah, yeah. Oh mate, listen, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been well, a pleasure. Gonna mention his sponsors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Look at him plug, um, plugging up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just gotta grab. A, gotta you can do it. it. Yeah, you mentioned that, but oh, yeah. um, Steve. So down that camera, can you give a little, little something to uh, Nazim Ahmed? Tell him, tell him what you want. Yeah, what about our next exhibition fight? Maybe six rounds or ten rounds? <laughs> if you could go ten rounds. <laughs> nah, it's not, it's not, not yeah, ten rounds. See what happens. Nice. <laughs> six rounds. I'll be afraid. I reckon he can't even do six. No. I bet he can even do six. He can, he can, can he? But um, yeah. it would be it would be great to see, wouldn't it? Be good to see. Go on, um, Jake, plug it up, plug yeah, away, kid. Yeah. So um, I want a, a quick um, shout to um, my sponsors. Yeah. So uh, you got Supology, uh, great um, supplements like CBD stuff um, and all that. You got Conspiracy Lounge. That's a great... Um, the hat you got on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah Go and sure. get your shisha. Yeah, yeah, man. Main, main sponsor. Main yeah, sponsor. Yeah, main sponsor, nice. yeah. Um, you got Diet Starts Monday. That's my meal prep. Meal preps, they do uh, great food. Um, Ebony Jewelers. They got um, a, um, a jewelry um, place up in uh, Chichester. They do uh, good jewelry and all that. Um, we got Lift Maintenance. They've been, um, they've been with me from the start. Uh, also, uh, Liberty's Cleaning. They've just come on board. But um, anything for like uh, cleaning, any, anything, offices, places, houses and all that, you go to them. And also um, a bollock uh, f uh, physio, uh, Nathan, that's my uh, my physio. Uh, he's uh, done a great job with me over these last few weeks as well. Yeah. Yeah. And the hairdresser as well, isn't it? Nice. Who? The hairdresser? Fucking oh, yeah, hell, no, yeah. Oh, yeah, hairstyles. Yeah, hairstyles, sorry, yeah, that's hairstyles. Yeah. <laughs> that's my, uh, my other sponsor. Yeah, that's No, do you want to read out my sponsors as well? <laughs> yeah. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, man. Nah, it yeah, takes man. A, there's obviously a lot of people who are supporting you and yeah, believing yeah. in you, mate, and that's yeah. amazing, isn't it? And so I'm, I want to be a, a, a quick um, shout to my uh, my cousin also who uh, passed away. He's coming up five years yeah. to the day now. So he, he passed away 26th of uh, December um, 2015. Oh, 2016, like sorry, yeah, 2016. Yeah, you, you was talking about this. Can yeah, you yeah. run a little, yeah. give it a little explanation of yeah. the backstory? Yeah, so um, obviously he's um, he's always trained me since I was I was small, and um, yeah, I'd say he was just as good as a, a trainer as my dad, really. Pro probably a, probably better to be honest, as, as in pad work and everything, because he was such a um, um, he used to just watch boxing all the time. So obviously he was watching different trainers, different fighters. He was just um, a historian when it comes to boxing. Really, um, really That's good, good guy. to have, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah God rest his soul. Rest yeah, in peace, God. mate. Yeah, um, is there anything you'd like to say down to the camera, Jake, or yourself, Steve, maybe a bit of, off both of you, a bit of inspiration to the people or, or, or what they got installed? Yeah, um, you know, obviously if you're, you've got a dream or um, or anything like that, you know, um, and you want to proceed in it, you know, just keep just keep, uh, keep at it, you know, because obviously, um, you know, with this boxing, there's, there's been times where I, thought, you know, wanted to uh, quit and all that. And um, for you know why do I box? But um, you just gotta keep going, you know. And uh, if you uh, if you feel you um, you're gonna believe in yourself, you just gotta believe in yourself. Whatever you're doing, you know. Yeah, strong. Um, so, my yeah. aim is to open the gym as well for um, for the community. Yeah. Um, sure. Obviously, produce champions like Jake and you know yeah. 
um, you know, men, ladies, whatever. Um, you know, not 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 so much champions, or that you know, obviously it's great to have champions, but it's good to um, you know, come in, good for fitness, good for your uh, you yeah. know, for your mental health, and this um, you know, boxing boxing is just uh, one of them sports is uh, it helps with anything if you wanted to obviously health. compete on a yeah. on a on a on a plat on the, you know compete properly or if you just want to come in or and just do uh, fitness. Strong. It was good yeah. for anybody, you know. Well, you so. you've, you actually have made other other Welsh champions, haven't you? Didn't you say your father's produced other Welsh? Yeah, champions? yeah, of course, yeah, am, like amateurs, yeah, yeah, mm. Welsh champions, yeah. amateurs, um, a few well, Welsh champions, yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. yeah. of course, yeah. My, I had my gym a few years ago. It was called Steve Robinson's gym, but I named it open a gym in the future. I called Robinson's gym. So mm. yeah, did you all in there? You, Luke, yeah, Luke, yeah, Baba, yeah, Baba Jay, yeah, 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 my and also uh, my my son Noah as well. He's um, Noah. he's he's, uh, he's free in match and he's he's into everything, man. He's naughty, but like mm -hmm. uh, he's into everything, man. He's uh, he loves it. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen. I wish you all the best for 2022. Thanks a lot. Um, hopefully, we, you know, you might get on on the card of the Liam. We won't bank on it, but yeah, we'll yeah. try it. Is it, if is, not. Is, it is in eight weeks' time? So I don't know. I don't see why not. You no, know, I keep exactly. ticking over. You know, now. So keep yeah. my fingers crossed. Well, uh, that's it, man. Touch, you, touch wood. Touch wood. Yeah. We will yeah. continue to uh, support you, Jake, and, and, and your plans. And if there's anything you ever want to come down and talk about, same as you, Steve. Yeah. We'll okay. try and like, sh you know, shed some awareness on trying to get the gyms mm -hmm. open and that as mm -hmm. well. You know, I think the more people who push for it, the better it is, you know. Yep. So yeah, I just want to say a thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. man. Thanks, man. man. Yeah, man. Yeah, cheers, man. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Awesome. Thank, thank you man. for coming down, man. I just want to say man. to yeah. everyone out there, uh, yeah. thanks for watching. Um, please go and show your support with Jake's journey with the boxing. Also, Steve, he's got his own Instagram page where he's doing all these insane <laughs> workouts, <laughs> which I could never yeah. do. Take care. Stay central. Stay central, man. The Central Club.